So this afternoon I'm sharing with you a project that I started at the beginning of this year um, self-publishing my first book called Textile Wanderings. Um, it's a book with a bit of a difference. It's not just a book to read. It's a book that you can personalise with your own textile wandering. So gluing things in, collections and ideas that you have for your own work. <clears throat> so wandering is travelling aimlessly from place to place, which I do quite a lot of and collect a lot of things that form inspiration for my work. And I just decided to put things together um, in a book. So it's not a project book or a book of techniques um, or my textile journey, because I wasn't quite sure what to do. It's just about a mixture of images, ideas and stitching and over time you make it personal to you. So the idea is, is you start sticking in your own little bits. So there are prompts in there, little projects that you can do as you're going along. It could be something that you work on over a year, over a month, on a holiday. And it goes through quite a few of my just different ideas collections of things we all have loads of photographs that we never print out so it's somewhere that you could collect things together i've done all the photography myself and like i say i've self-published it and it's available on my website a little piece there that i did at um, emily notman workshop from shed 76 and a half Collections of my things, lots of vintage textiles, pin cushions, bobbins, bits of lace, pieces of my work, used as inspiration, some of the objects that I collect and gather. Projects that I've done, little explanations of what I did, and the idea is then you can have a go at the project and then stick some pictures in. Space just to think and add little pieces. Working with other materials, one of the things I love to work with are uh, postcards and vintage paper. So stitching into the unusual. And just lots of different little prompts and ideas, things to think about, space to think and space to play and just pause a little bit in life. Start new collections for projects. Place things that you found and collected might not be for there and then. But just for another day and then just a few bits of my ramblings I suppose things that go on in my head things that you notice so that's my book like I say it's available um, on my website At the moment that's the only place you can get it um, and that's it textile wandering I just thought I'd share it with you. It's a slight book with a difference. You can record your wanderings alongside mine.